All right, so this little guy looks just like a marshmallow. This stuff that comes like with the proton packs just looks really weird. It doesn't look like marshmallow at all. It just looks like, I don't know, it looks gross. However, this looks much better. That looks like from a bit of a distance, from up close, you probably want to use like an airbrush or something, but it looks a lot better and like a little bit more like burnt marshmallow than this stuff. This just, it honestly just looks like a hunk of rubber. Um, so the problem with this is I'm pretty sure it's silicone, so the paint's not really going to stick very well. But as long as you've got it just hanging like that, if you're going to display it on your Proton Pack, then I still think this looks a lot better than this. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing to achieve this look, okay? Um, I don't like the feel of this particular one. What am I stepping on? God. So I'm going to paint this bigger one right now, okay? Um, so I'm using bright yellow, which is just dollar store acrylic paint. And what is this? Cashmere tan. Now this is a different, a different uh, name brand, so I'm not sure where to get that. But obviously I picked it up from somewhere. So get your tan and your yellow bright yellow paint. So I'm going to take this off of here right now. I'm just in my laundry room, but I also use it as a workshop. Okay, that looks a lot more like burnt marshmallow. So I'm going to hang that up there. And take this. Now I'm not sure if it's helping at all, but I've been using a heat gun. To, like this will take a lot of heat because it's I'm pretty sure it's silicone so when I do heat it up it starts to feel almost sticky so it's at that point that I paint it because maybe the paint will stick better but maybe I'll also burn myself too so we'll find out So, sorry, I've just got a little cup of both of this stuff mixed together. And then uh, after I use the two mixed together, then I go back over it with just yellow. I should probably pour a bit more in here. So, this one didn't really want to come out very well. I've also got this uh, espresso, eh, espresso, so I might go over it with some darker spots, and then who knows, maybe like a little bit of orange in between there, just to make it look like a gradient. All right, so we'll mix that up. I was looking for a video on how to improve the look of the marshmallow and I couldn't find any so hopefully this will help help you out. Alright so I'm gonna heat this up I'm gonna put it on the second setting start at the side here because I'm left handed At first I thought, you know, maybe it'll burn and uh, look just like marshmallow, but it didn't work that way. Okay, so I don't know if this is really helping at all, this technique, but I'm doing it anyways. So you kind of want it darker. Anywhere where there's holes like that. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it. Just gonna give me another go. Okay, 
this uh, I'm gonna keep it this side or try to anyways. I guess I'll switch switch hands. Super hot. It's already drying right now. Maybe that's because it's so hot. It dries faster. I think up and around here too. Yeah, see it spreads a lot better. Like you can blend it better when it's not in the areas that aren't hot. So maybe that is actually causing it to stick better. But it doesn't really let you blend it better. So now, now that's starting to look like burnt sugar. All right, so um, I'll add a little bit more in here. Nothing here. There. And now I'm going to switch over to yellow. Maybe I should get better, like another sponge for that. Just a minute. All right, this should work. And I've just been using the same container because you still want it to blend a bit. I'll just kind of pour it off to the side of the container. All right, so now don't heat it and just use the yellow. Yeah, that looks good. Just kind of go back over some areas you just did, like the darker areas, so that you get more of a transition. Yeah, and that looks so much better than, uh, than just plain white. I uh, might not do too much like burnt effect with this stuff because if you've ever burnt a marshmallow then you know that the areas that are darker um, the texture changes so it's a lot more agitated than uh, than you know the white areas so because it's burning so because I can't really modify the texture here, then I might not really do too much with um, a burn effect. But just the paint is giving it a bit of texture. Maybe like work your way in and then back. Well, that looks pretty good. Kind of happy with that. Uh, 
Um, go up in here. Make sure you go over the little nubs as well. Because you don't want to have it, um, like you don't want to go over all the edges and then fold those nubs in and then they, they don't match. All right, good. Um, so that's two down. So I was just going to, I'll just leave that as a sample. Yeah, that looks a lot more like marshmallow, doesn't it? So after, I probably won't make a video on anything else, but after I do this, I'll probably, um, I'm just going to add more yellow right in here. That's better. All right, so um, once I get all this, then I'll probably go over it with maybe like a matte, um, Mod Podge, so it's got a matte finish, and then I might kind of stipple a clear, like a glossy Mod Podge, and then that way certain areas will be kind of um, shinier, and it might kind of hint at it having more texture to it. And then, uh, yeah, maybe I'll go over some areas with the dark brown too, just to see how it looks. And then I'll do a little video at the end and show you how it's done or how it looks. All right, so here they are. Um, I went over it with a uh, um, Mod Podge, uh, like a dulling uh, wash. And then like, that still kind of left it a little bit shiny for some reason. Like that dull coat Mod Podge works really well. But um, like the matte finish stuff. But for some reason it just didn't really work on this. So I went over it with a spray, like a dulling spray. And that seemed to help quite a bit. Because like marshmallows aren't shiny. <laughs> and this stuff is very shiny. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to put it on the Proton Pack and see how it looks. All right, here it is. Um, it really doesn't look that bad. It looks pretty cool. Like this one down here looks, uh, looks just like real marshmallow pretty well. Like if you move back from a distance, see like that? That looks pretty good. It's not that bad. Um, ideally, what they should have done was was uh, mail out some, you know, transparent pink slime like in uh, Ghostbusters 2. Um, but yeah, this is that's not bad. I like I prefer this over just the shiny white stuff. Um, you know what that stuff looked like is. Um, I don't know if you've ever had silicone before, but you can mix part A of uh, um, Mold Max silicone, which is pure white and shiny looking. And then you add in the hardener, which is like either like a blue color or, or um, red, which causes it to look pink. Um, oh, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> I can make some pink silicone that looks like uh, it looks like this, and it would be pink. Um, yeah, I might do that. I don't really have any though, but I, I don't know. I'll come up with a way to make some pink slime. Um, but yeah, so when it was just um, sticky part A of that silicone. It looked just like this stuff. So I've got some spilt in my back room back there and I saw that when it was uh, when I was fixing this or modifying these. But um, yeah, so when you're displaying the marshmallow you gotta pay attention to where everything's hanging from 
because um, like I looked up a video or not a video, a picture on Google and the, there's a picture of a guy wearing it and he's got all these, all this marshmallow draped off of him. And uh, it turns out they were just photoshopped in and they're, they're not actually hanging on anything. They're just pasted in the picture. But when you're going to have them hanging, um, the ones that look the best right now are this one and this one. And the reason for that is gravity. So if it's going to droop down like this, it's going to want to, you're going to have to need it hanging on something that's level on both sides. So this one up here should technically be dripping down right there, right? Rather than off to the side like that. So if I remove those, and this one, that's a little bit better. But um, yeah, so you got to be paying attention if you're going to display it like this to where you're going to hang them. So if I take this one off, we'll see how it looks better. Uh, and then that's just connected to the hose. And I didn't think paint would stick to this, and it's probably not really sticking all that well. But as long as you don't uh, monkey with it too much, then uh, yeah, see that does it does look pretty good. It's not that bad. That would pass for marshmallow for sure. All right, let me know what you think of that, and uh, have a good one.